<laughs> hey guys, man, it feels so good to be back, man. Uh, right off the bat, this is going to be a long video because I have a couple of things to share with you. First things first, we finally fixed our equipment malfunction. So about that, my recording equipment had a bit of issues and that just needed some time and some money and uh, yeah, we managed to fix that. But second of all, I also faced uh, personal <laughs> equipment failure. I had my tooth pulled out uh, a few weeks ago. One of my molars was pulled out and I couldn't talk for a couple of days. And the pain was excruciating. <laughs> so uh, my first dentist visit, my dentist sits me down and asks me, uh, do you smoke? And... I said no okay she didn't specify <laughs> what do you smoke cigarettes do you smoke crack do you smoke there are a lot of things that people smoke out here and um, since she didn't specify I said no <laughs> okay uh, so my mouth was out of order for about two weeks um, even my dentist was shocked at the tooth that she pulled out of my mouth because most teeth or most tooth extractions, I don't know if you should call them that, take about 10 to 15 minutes. My dentist was in my mouth for a good 45 minutes. I took a second and I looked up at her and she was literally sweating trying to get my tooth out. <laughs> and when she was done, she pulled out something the size of a golf ball from my mouth. And in the moment, I was high on drugs. I was uh, so numb. I didn't feel a thing, okay? I was great. The first day out, I was awesome. And then those painkillers wore off. And <laughs> Not the painkillers. It's more of the, yeah, the anesthetic. And then the anesthetic wore off. And whoa. Take this from me. I'm not trying to hate on dentists out there. But if you have a cavity if you have an issue with your teeth don't have them pulled out take it from me especially if you have golf ball teeth the way i do do not have them pulled out die with that motherfucker in your mouth it is better than what you have to go through for about two to two and a half weeks okay all right <laughs> with that said and done a few weeks ago, Kevin Hart dropped his new stand-up comedy. Basically, it was called Zero Fucks Given. And the funny thing about this is I had this idea. I don't know how long he's been planning his, but I had this idea. And I wanted to do it. This just goes to show you that if you have something, if you think of something, execute it. Because now, even if I managed to do that, Everybody would say that, look, he's trying to do what Kevin Hart did. And I cannot come close to what Kevin did. Kevin hosted these people in his house. My people... <laughs> My house cannot hold more than 15 people. And that's even without social distancing. And then this guy went on to put on almost an hour's show and entertained his guests and at the end of it all he even gave them some bap for those of you who haven't watched this special bap is short for brick oven pizza this comedic rock star as he calls himself gave out bap as in what so I can't follow that. There's, there is, as in, big ups to Kevin and dumb dumb me, okay? Because <laughs> I wanted to do it, but I kept thinking, I kept wondering, I kept wishing, and bottom line is I should have done it. Because I don't know how it would have turned out. It definitely would not have turned out as, uh, as uh, the way Zero Fox Given came out, but it would have been something. It would have been mine. And with that said, 
moving forward you're gonna see a lot of stuff because anything <laughs> that i think about anything that i conceptualize i'm gonna do no matter <laughs> no matter how far-fetched or how dumb it may seem to some of y'all but it's gonna be mine and i'm gonna do it okay i'm gonna freaking do it and now i cannot end this video without uh giving props and throwing shade on the people who made this happen so let's first give props to my dentist she works at lions medical center i think she's dr fatma i'm not being paid to say this this is just me giving shout outs because they are due uh she did amazing work uh if you guys wanna go check it out lions medical plaza i think they're located opposite uni plaza in town uh amazing stuff I don't know when you're gonna see this so happy holidays uh happy new year uh so much love to each and every one of you if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do you can do so by clicking on the little red button underneath this video but more often than i will ever say and i'll keep on saying this share my videos that is all i ever want from you people i love you so much and there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it till next video peace